Okay, so this is a quick MacBook Pro hard drive replacement. This particular Mac is a mid-2025 MacBook Pro. It's got um, 16 gig gigabytes of RAM in it, and it currently has three terabytes of storage in it with the uh, optical drive being replaced with a second drive. And um, what I'm showing you here is we are replacing the second drive with the uh, the optical bay drive with uh, uh, a new one that has got uh, an extra terabyte of storage in. So we're going from three terabytes to four terabytes. Uh, here's the new uh, hard drive that's going in. It's a SATA 3 solid state two terabyte crucial hard drive that I've already uh, formatted or cloned, I should say, using this Sabrent uh, duplicator and also the software Super Duper um, from, uh, I think it's called Shirt Pocket. I'll put links in the description for those if you're interested. This thing I've got, I'll probably do another video on this, but I can't really recommend this yet because it's meant to be an offline clone and it didn't work for an offline clone. In fact, it caused me a lot of stress. I'm considering returning this because it just did not work in its offline cloning capability. Connected the MacBook Pro via USB to the Sabrent duplicator and used the cloning software Super Duper to uh, finish the job or actually do the duplication and that worked very well. Uh, just talking about my setup for a second, I'm not uh, an expert at all as you can see, I'm in a little bit of disarray here. Um, but uh, I have all the tools that I need, and specifically if you're doing this type of work, you need the specialized uh, screwdrivers for the specialized screws that you sometimes get. And also I use one of these magnetic boards, which I find incredibly helpful uh, so that you can put your screws on and not lose them and also kind of organize them to some degree. Uh, and uh, that's very helpful. If my hands get in the way, I do apologize. I wasn't going to videotape this, I just decided to do it at the last minute. And I've already been in here, as you're going to see, but you will see the, the reverse steps. So that'll give you a clue as to what's going on. All right, let's do it. So the first thing I need to do is take off this cover again. All the screws are gone out of it and you just very gently pry up at the edges here. This gently lifts up as we know. Um, we're going to start off by removing the battery connector. And the reason why we have to go through all these steps now is we have to put these screws back into the bay and secure the bay. That's the mission right now. So first things first, uh, where's that splodge? We're going to gently take off the uh, battery connector. Just, you know, it's just my thoughts and opinions here. You just can't be too careful with these things. But I really... Be gentle with them all. And this one is actually for the disc itself. So we're gonna gently bring this one up, no problems. And then this is an interesting one right here. This cable, pulls horizontally backwards. So I'm going to use, and it's got two little handles that you can sort of push against. There it is. You can see the, um, I've just pulled that out and you can see what's going on. Now the interesting thing is that this is actually attached this optical bay and I decided not to take it off the optical bay but that's fine. So the way this comes out now is that it actually the whole thing because it's not screwed in this just gently lifts up bring it up and then out this way and now you've got access to the two screws where uh, the hard drive gets screwed into. So we're going to do that right now. And these are the two screws for the hard drive. They were re really quite big and they were in there really tight. Uh, so we just need a standard Phillips for that. There we 
hairs. Just needed to get that bike. It doesn't travel very far, so. I'm wondering if these are the best fit screws. So these were in super tight when I pulled them out. I'm not going to do them super tight now. Okay. So we'll gently put this back in its place. Let's move this over here. And there are three screws for this particular item. One is just under here at the rear. Another one is just over here. And then one is here. So they're the three screws we're about to put in right now. Okay, they're all in snug. I'm really careful not to over tighten those. I think it's really important that you don't. Okay, so now we're going to put this module back into place and it just basically sits there like that. The longer screw goes in the back spot. Right here. And that's just a regular Phillips. Won't completely tighten that down yet. Now we can put these uh, connectors back in. Let's start with this cable right here. It has to be slid in. So I've uh, put it in the right place and now I'm just going to gently pry it forward. both ends and that's it it's snapped beautifully into place now the next I'll do the SATA connector and if you've got them right they'll they'll fit right back on really easy as you can see that one snapped into place and then finally the battery connector Should, uh, gently go in. So that's it. All we need to do now is connect the rear plate. So let's grab it. A little bit of dust here on the back of the plate, so I'm just going to wipe that before I put it back on. Cleaning up the battery, I don't know what that stuff was. I, I suspect it just came from the bottom of the case. And then here's the case, I just very gently uh, wiped it to get all the, most of the visible dust off. Now the trick here is to ensure that we put the right screws back in the right place. Okay, and there you have it. So uh, an important thing to say about these screws is that um, they all go in at an angle. So you've got to make sure that you actually get them in at an angle. And I also, as I said earlier, I use these magnetic boards. Uh, I arrange the screws exactly the way I sort of pulled them out of the laptop to ensure that they go back in the same holes. And 
you know, I'm not, not sure if the professionals do that, but I've got a feeling that it, you know, it really helps. Like, so for example, there was a couple of long screws here. I knew that they went back in those very specific holes, so that was good. Anyway, that's it for the second. Uh, I just need to put the plastic cover back on and um, we have completed this task. Let's see if it fires up. Power on. There's the battery. 1.2 terabyte available of two terabytes, which is great. But for the moment, we've got plenty of room to store new videos, which is great. And that's, that's this job. Thanks for watching.